Hi guys and welcome back. Today's video is just going to be a drawing of Blight from episode 6 that's still not posted yet of Evergrey. Um, but we'll go right into the topic of the video today which is being recognized as an artist within your community and people that you know. And it's something that's been happening to me a lot more recently. Um, it's I'm not sure why that is. Maybe because I'm just uploading more of my um, process on like Facebook and um, Instagram and stuff and I think people have for some reason or another been like contacting me a lot more about it now and it is a double-edged sword um, sometimes it can be great to see you know what other people like about my art and you know how they feel about it but at the same time they really just kind of get on my nerves and I know that it sounds terrible and I you know I, I feel bad for saying that but um, it's mostly the people that will contact you that you really haven't heard from, like um, people that you know in the past or people that you know in real life, and they get in contact with you and they're like, oh my gosh, hey, I love your art. And then you're kind of like, oh my gosh, thanks, thank you for saying that, it makes you feel awesome. And then they go on to say, you should draw something for me. And that's when my brain just starts on a path of how dare you and no. <laughs> And I know it's different for a lot of people, and this is just my opinion. I don't know if this is going to be ranty. I didn't really mean for it to be ranty, but it probably will end up being that way because I feel a lot about this subject. But it's just, it kind of gets on my nerves when people just expect you to make something for them when just because you're an artist, you know? Like, for writers' examples, um, you know, people who write fan fiction or poems or whatever you'll get a lot of people saying, you should write something about this, or you should do so-and-so. And it's like, but who are you? <laughs> who are you to tell me to do this because you feel like it? And, you know, like, that's not what I want to do. And now because he told me I should, I definitely don't want to do it now. But that's just a small, uh, condensed rant of how I feel about that. And I'll go into more um, examples of my experiences so I guess one of my first examples would be um, when I was working at my um, previous job, I had a boss and um, I think after I left there, like a couple of months later, he saw like a Raylo drawing that I did and he was like, hey, um, I want you to draw a picture of me and my wife. And I didn't even respond to that because I don't know why, but I just don't like drawing people I know or like anyone that I like. Non, I don't, I don't know, like realistic people because they have an idea of how they want to look and how they think they should look and if you draw them differently they're not going to like it and then they don't want to, you know, they don't want the piece anymore. And he did offer to pay me but, you know, I'm still not interested in that kind of stuff. And then more recently my current boss, he wanted me to draw himself and his wife and I was like, nope. Like at this point in my life I've just gotten really good at saying no without explaining myself. But he asked for an explanation and I was like, I just don't like drawing people I know. And, you know, he's like, well, why not? I'll give you money. I'll give you like $200. I'm like, it's still going to be a no from me, sir. And, you know, I, like I can, I could do it and it is within my power to do it, but I just do not want to for one reason or another. And people just need to kind of accept that. And um, another person that I know, um, like sent me a picture and was like, hey, since you like doing art, you should draw this. And at that point, I was just tired of it. And I said, okay, here you go. And I just drew like a little finger drawing of me, like, you know, smashing the picture that he wanted me to draw, which I think was like a car or something. And he wasn't very happy, but you know, it's whatever. And anyway, um, but yeah, it's just, it gets to the point where whenever someone wants you to do something for them, whether it's paid or for, you know, for free, I just definitely do not want to do it anymore. And, you know, if it's for a friend or if it's something that I really want to do, then I will, I, you know, I will do it. I don't mind doing that, but I have to want it. And when someone tells me to do something, it just, I just get really spiteful and I just don't do whatever that person said. But on the other hand, the uh, other edge of the sword is um, being recognized in a positive way. So like um, the company Parblo, you know, they want me to draw some like things for them and you know occasionally I'll do it and um, like a poster or whatever, a banner and I don't mind doing that kind of stuff, you know, because it's for um, something that isn't necessarily going to be used for 
someone else's purposes and they don't demean me in any kind of way like you know why not why won't you do it kind of thing and you know I've been actually contacted by a different companies like hey why don't you do something with us um, you know we'd love it if you would um, you know join us with our live streams and I was like heck yeah I think I mentioned that in a different video and then I think the other day another company or not really company actually but a an admin from Facebook contacted me. He's like, hey, I've been kind of stalking your stuff and I want to know if you'd like to do a podcast with myself and this other person on Facebook. And I'm like, heck yeah. But, you know, at the same time, I'm starting a new job, but I think we could work it out anyway. But, you yeah, know, it's kind of like a, it's, it can be good to be recognized for your art and it can be bad at the same time. So depending on the kind of person that you are, you will take it different ways. Um, you may be entirely different from me, and that's that's awesome. You know, you can do whatever you want. You can draw all those pictures for your bosses and for your uh, family members or whatever. But you know, it's really up to you and how you feel about it. And most of the time, I don't get good vibes from uh, the people I know that want me to do things for them. So I just say no. But um, that's another thing. Like, just get good at saying no without explanation. I've had to live 24 years on this earth uh, learning this lesson and especially being female people do not like it when they hear no from you because they always want to hear a yes and oh yeah I'll totally do that you know compliance and stuff and that's a topic for another day but that's just what I've experienced in my life. Anyway if you guys have different opinions or if you have stories that you want to tell me about um, with your own experiences in this kind of topic you can definitely let me know maybe we can rant together or we can you know have opposing sides that's fine too but I'm very interested to hear what other people want to say because I like to know that I'm not alone in this kind of feeling and this kind of uh, endless cycle of people asking for things and yeah I mean it's different you know for if you have like a tumblr or whatever and you have like a a request thing like hey send me drawing requests and it's like open to anybody and you can choose to do them or not you know it's up to you but when people just ask you for things and you know kind of demand things that's that's when I start getting a little uh, annoyed but you know it's different for everybody like I said so just let me know how you guys feel about it um, but this video is almost done so I just wanted to kind of end it off on this kind of note but the episode is going to be posted uh, eventually. I, I don't want to have a date because I still have a lot I have to do and some of the dialogue may need to be um, rearranged and such for um, the drawings and everything but I hope it will be posted sometime within the next two weeks so just be on the lookout for that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the drawing process um, but yeah, you can like and subscribe for more because I'll definitely be posting more in the future. But I'm gonna go ahead and head off now, so I'll see y'all next time. Bye!